So I finally had a chance to look at this reworked thing and figure out a few things which might help you. As for counters, pick someone like Vega who can still trap her inside, preventing any quick movement from her. Lissandra can root her if she's closing the gap and keep the CC up. Lux for her easily line a root and follow up burst is also pretty great. Malzahar for his ultimate, Swain for his close up magic dealing ult status, and Katarina for her mobility make other good counters too. Akali's passive marks enemies she hits with ability damage with a ring around them. She gains movement speed when moving towards the outside edge of this ring and also gains extra range and damage to her autos when she's outside it. Her Q will make her throw a flurry of knives that also will slow the enemy if it hits at max distance and heal her if she used it at 180 energy or above. Her W will restore energy back and create a cloud of smoke that expands over 5 seconds into a ring. It grants a Kali invisibility when she's in it and extra movement speed breaking both of these stats if she attacks from it. Her E makes her flip backward and throw a shuriken in front of her marking the first enemy hit and dealing damage. On second cast, she can dash towards the mark. If no enemy is hit, she can also mark the Twilight Shroud. Finally, her ultimate allows her to dash in a target direction, also dealing damage and stunning enemies. After 2.5 seconds, she can reactivate it to deal magic damage but not stun. Honestly, I could not comprehend what this champion was doing before I went and read about her abilities while in the making of this video. You will find this new beast in the mid lane running either Ignite, Teleport or Cleanse. You on the other hand might want to consider Exhaust if you're not feeling very confident in yourself, but any of the other ones is good too. As for Power Spikes, her early and mid game will be considerably stronger than the late game even though she might still be able to pull off a few tricks here and there. Hextech Gunblade still does wonders for her, just like Zonia's, which allows her time enough for energy and cooldowns to replenish. Her level 2 has enough damage to do some burst damage, but level 6 is when things get really zigzaggy and messy. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, she's very vulnerable to hard CC. She's moving freely in the shroud, so instead of trying to guess by throwing abilities blindly, just wait for her to reappear. And she has a bunch of ways to gap close, so don't think distance is keeping you alive. Ultimately, have fun doing it.